This video is how to quickly optimize your property photo using GIMP, which is a free program much like Photoshop. First thing you want to do is open GIMP and it may take it a minute to load. That's okay, let it do its thing. If you need to pause the video and come back, do that. After it loads, you want to open the image that you need to modify by going to File, Open. Pick the image and click Open. Now after it opens, we want to duplicate the layer just in case we make an error in our changes. We'll have something to revert back to quickly. So click and hold the background layer, which you will see, and you're going to drag it down to the new layer icon, which looks like two little images, one above the other, and then let go. That duplicates your layer over here. Make sure the copy layer is highlighted and come over to the left and grab this select by color tool. It looks like a little finger with blue, red, and green blocks and highlight that one and then find the brightest spot in the photo and click that and that will highlight all the colors that are that same color which would be very bright white. Now go up to the select menu and choose invert and what that does is highlight everything else which will leave those very bright white spots alone because we don't want to get those too light. Now go up to colors and choose brightness contrast and what you want to do is slide the little slider buttons to the right which increases the brightness and as you do that also increase the contrast which pulls the dark colors back in a bit and play with that a bit until you get it to a point that you know it looks good it doesn't look fake you don't want to burn any of the whites out too much or burn any of the blacks too much and once you have it at a spot that looks good go ahead and click OK now you can go up and to get rid of all the little we call them curling ants go to select and choose none now to quickly see the difference that you have made back over here on your layers go to the background copy which is the one we were working on and click the eyeball to make it go away so that you can't see that layer and now when you toggle back and forth between clicking the eyeball on and off you can see what a difference just a little bit of a brightness and contrast adjustment can make. So I like how that looks. I'm going to keep that eyeball toggled on so that that's the image I see. Go up to File, click on Save. That will overwrite the old image, but since I know I like this one, I'm okay with that. You could also do File, Save As and give it a different name if you just wanted to be sure you left the original alone. It will say JPEG can't handle layers, which is fine. Merge visible is fine. Click export. On the quality, you want to bump it all the way up to 100 so that you have the best quality possible and click save. That's it. Your image is now a little bit optimized, a little bit brighter, which shows up better on computer monitors and will look the best possible for your listings. As always, if you have any questions, you can email marketing at judgefight.com.